Hi guys, hope you are well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a date picker using the jQuery uh, library. So okay, first of all I've got date picker, I've got today's date and it's, there is a text field right there. I click inside the text field, I get a date picker and I can actually select a date. So you can see I can select different ones, I can select different months and, and that is just something that helps create make our website more sophisticated and it's just a, a great feature and also it stops people from typing in the wrong, wrong dates you know it's, it's better when they visually select the date so okay the first thing we need to do is go to jQueryUI.com and so this is the uh, home page for jQuery UI and this is an official website for jQuery the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download some themes so we've just clicked on the theme section and okay so you've got you can download one particular theme and as part of that bundle you'll get different uh, parts so you've got the accordion you've got the tabs you've got the dialogue and so on so the accordion is sort of um, just hides different parts of the web page tabs is sort of saves a person from refreshing over and over and the date picker is what we're interested in is right over here okay so what you can do is over here where it says roll your own you can actually go in there and change the appearance of the um, bundle to suit your website or you can pick from the gallery which I'm going to do so I've selected this one right here so once that has been downloaded you'll end up with a zip file that looks like that once the zip file has been extracted you'll get a file and inside the file you will get a CSS section so if you go inside the CSS section and this is the cascading style sheet and we'll be referencing to this later on so just keep that in mind and we've got the images and the images are there obviously to help make the date picker look a lot more attractive you've got the development bundle which has got a lot of demos so you can check that out and the JavaScript library or the jQuery is going to be inside here so we've got two jQuery files in there so just keep that in mind also because we'll be referencing to that later on so okay the first thing I'm going to do is load up my Dreamweaver and I'm going to add this to my site and you guys depending on what uh, you've got it'll be a little bit different what um, HTML editor you've got will be a little bit different I'm using Dreamweaver at the moment so I'm going to press manage site and press new and then I'm going to type in date um, just for short and then select my date picker file um, the file that we downloaded so I'm just going to press select and save okay so this is just loading the file up and I'm going to try and do this within five minutes from now on uh, from this point onwards so if I do that make sure you hit the subscribe button so I press the done button I'm going to open up a new HTML document the first thing I need to do is link to my CSS the external uh, CSS style sheet so I can use Dreamweaver to do that so I'm going to press attach style sheet browse uh, CSS start and this is the uh, cascading style sheet I showed you guys earlier on so I'm just going to press hit the OK button <clears throat> I'm going to press OK now I need to link to my jQuery files the two that I showed you so I'm going to type in angle uh, the angle brackets and then type in script sorry script and then going to type the type of script is going to be JavaScript so I'm going to type in uh, text slash JavaScript and source this to again JS and I've selected the first one and hit the OK button and then I'm just going to close my uh, HTML tag So what I'm going to do is just copy this line over, I'm just going to press paste and this time I'm just going to go in there and change the source, this time I'm just going to source it to the second uh, one which is the custom one, I'm going to hit the OK and press OK. OK so this part is going to be a little bit more, a little bit repetitive but what we need to do is type in some more tags and script, I've just copied and pasted just to save time and there we go that is all we need and close the tag also now we're ready to type in our jQuery <clears throat> inside this tag these tags right here so what I'm gonna do is type in the dollar sign dot sorry dollar sign open close brackets put my speech marks inside and document then dot ready so I've called the ready class and then once this document is ready we're going to be calling a function and then we are going to put our curly braces in there 
and make sure I put my semicolon. I'm just going to space this out so I can get type in a bit more code. Okay, so the function we're going to be calling is going to be the date picker. So first thing I'm going to do is type in some jQuery, type in my dollar sign, open close brackets. So you can see the syntaxes for this is a little bit similar. And we're going to be referring to an ID and I'll talk you through that in a second. And that is going to be the ID of date picker. I'm just going to type in date picker ID, okay? And we're going to call the date picker class. Put my brackets, make sure I put my speech marks in there. And I think, oops, yep, so that's fine. So, okay, so go, going into the design view, all I'm going to do is press the forms button right here and I'm going to type, click on the form. So I'm going to add a form and inside there I'm going to add a text field. So click text field now. This is what we typed in earlier. So date picker ID. Okay. So whatever this is, this is what we will we reference. This is what we referenced earlier on. So I'm just going to hit the OK button. I'm just going to hit the F12 but F12 key, and hopefully this should be working. Hit the save button, and I've clicked on date picker, and you can see the date picker has worked. Okay. So just a few other things I want to show you guys so make sure you hit the subscribe button now yeah okay so I'm just going to show you guys a few more things um, going inside here you can actually define different properties so I've just gone and put my curly braces in there and I'm going to type in change year okay okay so, yep and I'm going to type in colon and true Okay, I'm going to hit the F12 key and just show you guys the difference. And when I click on the date picker, you can see I can actually select a different year. Okay, so you can do exactly the same thing. So you can have a, a comma and then type in change month. And you get the idea. So it's just the same thing. Change month and then the month will actually appear. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and take care. I'm making a lot more tutorials now. So make sure you subscribe.